All right, and this is for the DNP users. I'm using the DS80. I think there's a lot of people who are using the DS40s. Uh, but uh, I normally wear uh, using the Kodak 9810s. Uh, and uh, the difference down is you get 300 prints per 8x10 roll. And the 6x8 machine there, which is a 6800, will get 750 4x6s on one roll or 375 5x7s versus the DNP. This is, I think, if I'm not mistaken, maybe 230 for two rolls, I think it is. I'm not really sure. But uh, anyway, I, I, got, I got this one because somebody basically sold it because he was not printing anymore. So I purchased because I was need like a, like a double whammy, whatever, just in case one of the 8x10 machines. I'm a professional photographer and do photography on on-site delivery where I shoot the prints. I shoot the photos and the prints are printed at that time. Normally it's six by eight, six by eight machine. I get two of those and I get two of these and then I got uh, two of nine eight tens and I get two of these. Uh, one of these rather. This is a backup. Anyway I tried to run it with an inverter and it wouldn't work. So I put on the web why it couldn't work and they were talking about this one here draws more wattage than the other machines that they know of. This is the newest electronics versus the Kodak. Kodak are pretty old actually. So I couldn't get it to run. Tried different methods, it didn't work. So what I did was I went and got the inverter. I was using the DeWalt. Okay, DeWalt, it, it, it runs the Kodak, but when I first started it, it didn't want to run the DS80. So I, f I figured uh, that it had to be the, uh, the modified sine wave versus the pure sine wave but anyway so I got the power drive this one here and that was rated at uh, 1000 watts and the max is 2000 watts peak and this one here is rated 1600 max peak but I'll show you this is what I was using the car battery was uh, it was at 12.5 volts at the idle of the DS80 is running at 42 watts when I ran an 8x10 print through, I had three different readings. 491 on the first run, 461 on the second one, and third, 464. This is a peak peak voltage, or peak wattage, right? I'm sorry. So then I went to the pure sine wave. The car battery was 12.5 volts, the idle was 31 watts, and the peak, if you notice, is, is three are the same. 290 watts of... of, of uh, of peak wattage so it's almost like half of the of the modified car wave so I believe that this is a better uh, the, the pure sine wave is a better uh, inverter if you want to use one just for your information Aloha